The national championships see Margaret Smith of Australia serve to title holder Darlene Hard in the finals. And the red-haired Australian miss is on the way to the championship. It's a hard-fought two-set match that the crowd witnesses, but Miss Hard's play is not good enough against the smashing game of the gal from down under. The Californian pulls closer in the final set as she wins this point, but she's upset by some close calls against her. The final game brings some added drama as Miss Smith flanks Doreen. Here's match point, a point that makes her the first Australian winner of the U.S. women's title. It's all Australia in the men's finals, which has Rod Laver in the far court pitted against Roy Emerson. Laver has won the Wimbledon, Australian, and French championships, and his smashing serves today volley him into the first Grand Slam since 1938. Laver has a heated competitor in his close friend, Emerson, who takes this point in a spirited exchange. However, the crowd is treated to the tennis form of a master. Labor's southpaw serves are packed with dynamite. Labor takes the first two sets handily and drops the third despite some brilliant returns. Emerson serves in the fourth and final set. He's tiring, the strain is showing. As he battles to stay alive, he falls in a brave attempt. Emerson won't say die. Again, he breaks Labor's service in the fourth game of the fourth and final set. Labor is up against a tough opponent. The Grand Slam does not come easily. Emerson is battling right down to the final volley. Emerson serves himself to 40-30 in the final game, but this point was his last. After this exchange, Labor ran up two more points, bringing the match to that moment of truce. This is match point. And a new Grand Slam champion, Rod Laver, the tennis wonder, accomplishes a feat that hasn't been wrapped up since Don Budge did it the year Rod was born. Rod Laver, Mr. Tennis himself.